Hi there folks, welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to do on this one is show you how to use the layers panel in Corel Aftershot Pro 3. And I am going to use this image right here to do it. So, let's get on with it. This is the layers panel right here. It lives up in the top right corner. You click on the white button and you get this panel. This panel has an adjust layer and it has a heel clone layer. You can duplicate a layer you can invert it, or you can throw it away in the garbage can. Down here you've got a pan tool for moving around the, the picture. You've got a circle region, a polygon region, a curve region, and a brush. And this is where all the uh, layers are, are demonstrated and shown. Okay, so I, I met this young lady at uh, Fan Expo. And she was gracious enough to let me take her picture. And uh, she's just like any other human being. She's got a few blemishes, got a few marks on her. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, we can get rid of them. Um, but, you know, we are human and we all have these little problems. So we're going to start with the heel clone layer right here. Click that and you got the heel clone layer, blemish layer. And I'm going to choose the circle region. Now, what I can do with that is I can just come on and choose a blemish and click on it. Now, this has gone to mode clone. Don't want clone. I want heel. Okay, and I want to make it smaller. Look at that size, 100. Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. Okay, we're going to go to there. Okay, and we've got a humongous uh, feathering, so I don't need that much. Now I'm going to put one on here. Here. This is a bit bigger there, so I make it a bit bigger. There. You see how quickly this works? It's, it's very fast. It's very effective. What it's doing, is you can see it, that this, the little dots are the feathering region, and the center is where it's happening. What it's doing is it's checking the texture and the color and making sure everything is the same. So when you do this, it's uh, it's seamless. You can't see any uh, any any marks or hard circles, hard edges. So that's kind of good. That's what the the feathering does for you. And I'm just gonna zip around here. If you think that you can do this and get rid of uh, problems on an image, no, it's not going to work that well uh, because you run out of them. I, I tried this on something, and I, I think I ran out of these circles. It wouldn't do anymore after about 40 of them. So uh, this is for a quick, a quick uh, fix with, with Aftershock Pro. Okay, so we're, there we go. We've got a lot of them done. Okay, so let's back out and see how it looks. There's the main layer. That gets rid of all those things. And we can go out here. Okay, there's one here. I don't know if we're going to fix that or not. We'll go back here to the heel clone layer and uh, get a circle. Now we didn't do that one. And uh, there, that should be a bit better. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it does it quickly. And you can get rid of some down here. I'm not going to do them. Okay, so the next thing we can do is uh, well, let's 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 do something on the eye okay so I'm going to use an adjust layer now now it's added an adjust layer and I am going to go and use this curve tool so I'm going to start right there and right well I'll zoom in so you can see what it's doing some of these tools are really quite neat um, zoom, move around a bit here okay so we're going to start right here come up Follow the curve around and get it perfect. Okay, now there's the feathering. You see the thing there? Don't want to feather that much. So I'm going to go over here and feather it down. And I'm going to move it up a bit. So it's going to pretty much just do that area. Now we got now <laughs> a lot of adjustments we can do. Let's just go with perfectly clear. See, it brightens it up a bit. Okay, let's go back to the top. Hit the main layer, and you can see it. It's uh, it's it's bright that eye up. And if I want to see how it looks before and after, there we go, before and after. Now, if you find that that's a bit too much, you can change the opacity. I think it was a bit extreme, so we're going to come down a little bit, and that just brightened it up a bit. Okay. There we go. That's fine. Okay. So what else can we do with this? Well, important parts of this image are, I guess, these glasses things. 
I'm not sure who she was designed to be, but uh, she did it well. Uh, let's go to another adjustment layer. See, if I apply a new adjustment, a new curve or a brush or something on this adjustment layer, it'll take this adjustment. And I don't want that one. I want to have a new one. So I'm going to make a new one. There we've got a new adjustment layer. It's right here, three. And we're going to brighten up these glasses. So I'm going to go, I'm going to use the paintbrush this time. Okay. And we're going to go up around here. There. Okay, now we've got the brush going around. I got my, my tablet going here. And that's one 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 lens thing. And this is the second one. And there's I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna brighten it up. Okay, now you can see its intensity is fifty, size is forty. I can see show strokes. There it'll show you that's what I did. I'm gonna take them off. And if I don't like something I can use the minus to, to get rid of it. There, it gets rid of it. Um, so now what I'm going to do on this one, I am going to go to, again, perfectly clear. Perfectly clear is kind of cool. See how it brightened it up there? I'll take it off and put it on again. There we go. Now I'm also going to go to the color tab and we're going to brighten this up a bit and bring the curve down. There we go. And take the curve up. Let's go there. You go. There you go. Okay. So I guess they are important parts to her in her uh, in what she's dressing up as. Now let's go back. There's something else there I want to do. Um, this little clocky thing she's carrying. Uh, when I saw that, I thought, well, maybe she's doing a uh, a Doctor Who knockoff. I don't know, but she's got it. Okay, so this time I'm going to use the brush again. Now we're going to try the polygon. I'll show you how versatile the polygon is. So we're going to do it right here, and I'm going to make a new adjust layer. And we're going to have the polygon. And the polygon starts here, and it comes across. You can see how this thing works. Come on, polygon, move. There, there. Coming up there. Over there. And it, it kind of expands to do the whole area you want done. And around her finger, don't want to get her finger in there. Down there. Here. Whoops. Should have done there. There we go. And double click there. Okay. So now we've got a huge feathering again. I'm going to take it down. And uh, let's try perfectly clear once again. Or we can yeah, change the exposure. Yeah, a bit brighter. <laughs> kind of neat. Perfectly clear added on there. And uh, go back up to the top. Okay. So it's a little extreme on that one, but uh, hey, what the heck. This is just a fun kind of program to see how, how this works. One other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the Dr. Pepper sign. And uh, let's see, what one will we use? We're going to do a, a just layer with that. And uh, let us do the curve. Let's see how that one works, okay? It's kind of hard to do determine where the edge of the thing is, but I'm going to start right about here and uh, go up. These curves are quite versatile. Um, if, if the, the, the uh, oops, I did it a bit too far there. Um, I hit the button. Oh, there we go. I, got to, I can adjust it a bit. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to change the feathering a bit, make it bigger. There. <laughs> okay, I might have to change it back down. Uh, exposure. Let's move it a bit. Let's change the vibrance, make it wild. And exposure again. I'm going to move it up a bit. And give it some perfectly clear. And let's see if we can do something with the... With the... Yeah, it, it brought the thing out. Okay, so that's what you can do with the, uh, with the layer. I mean, there's a lot of different things I've done here. And if we want to see, uh, we, her shirt is awfully white, isn't it? We can view the uh, history right here in the View History tab. And this shows you everything we've done. Initial settings, all the different adjustments. If you want to go back, if you don't like something, um, like this one here, Move Point, uh, Curve Region. If I want to go here, 
that takes that'll take everything off back to well it should be taking it off back to the uh, the Dr. Pepper sign now it's, it's being reluctant to do that I don't know why it's being reluctant but it is strange new adjustment layer select layer main layer okay there it is okay and if I didn't like that one I could I could just get rid of it and do it again and this time I could do it with the, the brush region and uh, a new adjustment layer and uh, do the brush if I don't like that color you go here you choose a different color okay now we've got our color going around yeah I'm painting this really well aren't I okay so there's lots of different things you can do okay that's our area we can show strokes if we want to see how badly I did that painting there we go. All right. Now let's try it again. Perfectly clear. Didn't do very much. We'll exposure it. There we go. Okay. So it brightened up a bit. And the feathering. Yeah, the feathering's a bit off. But, you know, that's what you can do. Again, I would say I, I messed that one up. I don't like it. Um, I'm going to change it and... Uh, uh, not do that one. So again, I could go back or I could just go down here to this last thing, adjust layer right there, and the adjust layer through five and get rid of it. There it's gone. Okay. So that's what you can do with the uh, the layers palettes. Um, they uh, the pa layers palette, it really works well. It's very effective. There's lots of different things you can do. And uh, yeah, try it out, you know. I mean, I could show you all kinds of different things. See, with uh, Cyberman at the same Fan Expo, his face is awfully, awfully bright. So I could, I could lighten that up a bit. Um, what else? I could uh, work with Libby and do something with her. And get rid of this little shiny spot on this, this right here. You could do that. So there's lots of things you can do. It's, uh, I don't think these layers are as powerful as you can find in Paint Shop Pro, but they're very, very good, and. Uh, Give them a try. I think you'll like them. So thanks for watching. I hope you found something new and exciting to do. And if you have any comments, let me know. Appreciate you watching. Bye now.